doing is moving this rubber flap down so there's no more clearance at the bottom there. This one's kind of messed up. I gotta redo that bracket. I got a brand new bracket for it actually. It's a newer up-to-date style. But this rubber piece here was leaving a gap right there so snow would go right through there. So cage, they made these extra holes on the flaps right here so you can take it and actually slide it down as you can see here here's a bolt I took out on the other side already but there's the hole for this rubber piece and it'll come down here and essentially leave no more gap down there so as you can see I haven't bolted this one in yet but I moved it down already. May need to cut maybe some of that rubber off a little bit or just, you know, let it hang and wear itself off. But here's some of the new bolts and mounting brackets. Let's see if I can get in there and show you. Well, it's a little better design. This here, I don't know if you can see, but this here piece will fit right in over here way better now so then it's going to be more secure so i could get right in there and we're getting it still got the little overhang but that there you could actually cut it or leave it and it'll basically wear itself down um, so we're gonna avoid you know any snow getting in between here uh cage came out with some new brackets for that area um, the back end here, see here, it'll fit like in one of these little square holes here. So it's really going to make a difference in any streaks, you know, when you're out there plowing. And you can see on this one right here, uh, that bracket, that's the old bracket. It's actually twisted up. Um, so because they did reinforce the new ones, you probably will never get that. Um, just looking at the bracket alone <laughs> for these flaps. I mean, they're just completely designed perfectly. Look at them. You can see that it just... Uh, Clearly, it's quality. Get these uh, brackets in. The flaps are too long right now. I don't want to cut them yet because essentially I might cut it too much. So what I'm trying to do is line them up, line those brackets up so they end up fitting perfect, tighten them down, and then hook the plow back onto the bobcat. Um, as you can see, this is how the cage works. I've had this plow for about, I don't know, three years or so. And you figure Minnesota, yeah, you're gonna get this rust. <laughs> no matter what. This one I've had, this plow, for, I don't know, probably six years maybe. Let's put a new cutting edge on it this year. But really, Still in decent shape considering all the little rust, you know, that we get out here. But, and you can even see it in the bobcat. Got that probably what four years ago there. So it's a heck of a machine right here, man. This cage. This thing's got us out of so many jams, you know, using a truck for so many years. Mm -hmm. 